This is five on your side at four. Focused on you. More than a week into this humid heat wave and there's little relief in sight. We are getting some rain this weekend, but it won't be enough to cool things down. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brent Solomon and I'm Kay Quinn. We've got some tips on how to stay safe and cool in this summer heat in just a minute, but let's check in with meteorologist Gary Frank on the weather first weekend forecast. Gary. Yeah, still hot. No surprise there. There will be a little rain as you mentioned, but still we're in the mid 90s again today and minus that one day where we had just enough cloud cover to keep us out of the 90 degree stretch. This is what wears on us, our body and the continued heat. And I know that we're used to the summer heat, but when we have it for 10, 15, 20 days in a row, that's what gets to us. 95 is where we got today, 88 in Farmington, mid, mid 90s. You'll notice where the mid 90s are more centered uh, in the Metro East in Illinois versus Missouri. And that's where the core of the heat continues to settle in. And there's more clouds, especially on the Missouri side, you can see that. But the core of that heat settles in. And the only way we're going to see any sort of a break is when that high starts to break down and move off to the southwest. However, we're back down to 93, a south-southeast breeze, and still dew points in the mid-60s that makes it feel like 95. Those numbers will only go up into this evening. We'll see, still see temps fall to around 80 overnight by midnight. Still very hot. I've got temperatures that are even hotter than this. Keep in mind our average highs right now, 86, 87, so we're way above that, especially in the morning. There's one chance this week, but otherwise very dry. How close we are to records, how hot it gets, and if we have any relief in sight in the 10 day forecast, even in the morning. Wow, I'll tell you what this nonstop heat is hard on our bodies, but it's also hard on the equipment that keeps us cool. There are some steps you can take, though, to maximize cooling at your home and then to limit the stress on your appliances. Tracy Hinson learned a few tips from Ameren, Missouri, ahead of the next round of triple digits. Most fans have a little switch on them and most switches don't have anything to tell you what exactly it does. Well, it's actually important because it changes the direction your fan blades spin, which makes a difference when it comes to fighting summertime heat. Counterclockwise in the summer, clockwise in the winter. That's the direction the fan is moving when looking up at it. It has to do with the, the flow of air. Warm air rises, so in the winter you want to blow that down. To make you feel cooler, you want to go counterclockwise to pull that up. A lot of folks think that you want it blowing down on you in the summer, and it's counterintuitive. But remembering cold air sinks, that does make sense. It doesn't cost a lot energy wise to, to run those ceiling fans. As for those air conditioners. Every three months, I would at least pull your filters, check them, make sure they're not clogged and clean. Uh, the cleaner that filter is, the, the less pressure it puts on your system um, and, and helps it run a little more efficiently too. To install the filter, you're going to want to find the arrows on the top and point them in the direction of your machine. The machine's always going to have a bit of a rumble to it, and then the actual ductwork itself where the air is being pulled in will always be this silver shade. You slide it in, and you're set to go. Stay cool, everyone. Tracy Hinson, five on your side. Now, the experts at the St. Louis Fire Department remind us June is a particularly dangerous month for fires. So here are a few more tips from Ameren to keep your home safe outdoors this summer. Upgrade your outdoor outlets with ground fault circuit interrupters that'll cut off the power in an emergency. Keep your phone chargers and cords away from the pool to minimize the risk of electrocution and never use indoor cords outdoors. The outdoor cords are uh, better that they're weather resistant, they don't get as wet, they, they're a little bit heavier duty, and they're, they're made to be outdoors. And so if we try to take an indoor cord outside, we're more prone to having issues with that or stringing them together, and those are things we don't want to do that, that create uh, either a fire or shock hazard. Another tip, call 811 before doing any digging in your yard. There could be underground utility lines that aren't clearly marked. And if there's an electrical fire, always call 911. If you need help finding a cooling center near you, just text the word HEAT to 314-425-5355. We'll send a, li a link straight to you. Happening within just the past few hours, we got new info into last night's shooting near downtown. It happened around 1130 on Long Way. That's in the city's Carway neighborhood. That's where officers found a 24-year-old man shot multiple times. He told first responders he was on Bryant Street when he heard gunshots. He says he then ran to Long Street before he called police. 
He went to the hospital. That investigation continues. Right now, a Missouri American water crews are working to repair a water main break in Maryland Heights. Just before four this morning, water started gushing on McKelvey Road. Traffic is still being detoured as crews repair the break that's almost two feet long. Drivers are being urged to avoid the area if at all possible. Missouri American Water expects the detour to stay in effect until sometime after five o'clock this evening. America, America, 50 people in St. Louis are being recognized as new U.S. citizens today. Just hours ago, a naturalization ceremony was held at the International Institute of St. Louis. Candidates from 31 different countries took the oath of allegiance. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services participates in naturalization ceremonies typically held at museums, schools, and libraries. The ceremonies recognize an immigrant's journey to citizenship and honor their commitment. A slew of former Olympians gathered at Washington University's Francis Olympic Field to celebrate Olympic Day. The annual event invites St. Louisans to run or walk the historic track, which was the site of some events during the 1904 Olympic Games. All of today's guest athletes are St. Louis natives. They included volleyball star Scott Tuzinski and track and field legend Jackie Joyner Kersey. And these Olympians say they wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now, even Paris. I love coming back to see the Olympians. I love being able to see the kids, how, how excited they get with the medal. Um, and just trying to show the, the next generation what's, what's attainable, what's possible. To be from East St. Louis, yes, I could be in L.A., but I'd rather, you know, be here where they can touch, feel, talk to me. The Francis Olympic Field is the oldest modern Olympics field that's still in use today. Five on Your Side's Annie Crawl. We'll have more from Wash U tonight on Five on Your Side at 5 and 6. And local Olympian Tyler Downs is competing as we speak in the men's individual springboard at the Olympic trials. And it comes just a few days after he qualified for this year's games in a different category. It's the second time Downs has made the Olympic team. But for today's competition, he says he's keeping a level head and always doing what he always does before a dive. Staying composed, um, going in with no expectations, doing everything I know how and, you know, how I'm doing it in training and just trusting the system. We are going to keep you updated on that competition. Again, it's happening now. You can catch Tyler at the opening ceremonies right here on Five on Your Side on July 26th. The first presidential debate of the election year is less than a week away. A look at the intense preparations underway as the candidates sharpen their message. The Supreme Court upholds protections for victims of domestic violence. Why the justices say their ruling safeguards the entire community.